These are the top five places that I would recommend going on safari. I've been fortunate to live, work and travel in 45 different countries so far and I've seen a lot of different animals in a lot of different places in all corners of the globe. So I've put together my list of the top five places that I think, and they're not all the same, they're not all just drive round safaris. These are the top five different safaris in five different countries that I think that you would really enjoy. These are in no particular order, but kicking it off in number one would have to be Kruger National Park in South Africa. This is a place you can either hire a car and drive yourself, or you can do as part of a guided tour. You've got everything there. It's the only downside is it can get quite busy, but it's such a big place that you can have the whole day pretty much to yourself. You will see lions, cheetahs, elephants, wildebeest, monkeys, the lot. It's a brilliant, brilliant place and it's not too expensive. Number two would have to be India. This was absolutely breathtaking and seeing tigers was something that had been high up on my list for absolutely ages. This is definitely one of the cheaper safaris to do and the scenery is absolutely mind blowing. There are so many different places in India being such a huge country that you can see tigers that we went to two different parks. We went to Ranthambore and we went to Jim Corbett up on the border with Nepal and they are worlds apart in what's on offer but you if you're going for tigers they're brilliant places for tigers and for the other animals that surround them. India is also a fascinating place for bird life it's a brilliant place for the smaller animals you've got deer, owls, crocodiles, monkeys, the lot. Also in India there is reports of cheetahs being back in India and, and also India is one of the only places in the world or the only place in the world where you can see lions and tiger. Number three would have to be the Masai Mara in Kenya. I have never been anywhere so incredible for big cat sightings and the just sheer numbers of wildlife. We went at the time of the Great Migration, so you have got thousands of animals making that journey. We had big cat after big cat, lions, leopards, cheetahs, loads and loads and loads of them. I've never, it was like almost being in a zoo, it was too good to be true. It is one of the more expensive places to go on safari. Kenya is definitely more expensive than South Africa for safari. There are obviously levels you can pick, budget, medium and high end, anywhere, any country in the world for safari. For the same relative amount of what you get, I would definitely say Kenya is more expensive. However, don't let this put you off because it's well worth saving up for. And if you can afford it, there is just nothing else like it in the world. We were so lucky and this was the uh, first safari that we did in our own vehicle where we had a private vehicle. I just can't even put into words just how brilliant the sightings were. Number four, and remember these are in no particular order, would have to be Peru. I went to the Amazon jungle, we did the Inca Trail, tracked the Inca Trail and then spent a few days in the Amazon jungle. We did nighttime safaris on foot. We went down the banks of the Pantanal looking for caiman and for jaguar in canoes. Doing this at night was really special, apart from when you walk into spiders' webs at night or you see little snakes up in the tree. You've got all your creepy crawlies, you've got all weird and wonderful things from big spiders to little snakes to big caiman to little caiman to jaguars sleeping on the banks of the river to your capybara, the world's biggest rodent, hiding away from the jaguars. Peru had everything. The people were lovely, the food was lovely, the accommodation was brilliant and just being out in the Amazon jungle is just a stuff of dreams. Number five would be Atosha National Park in Namibia, or Atosha, depends how you want to pronounce it. To be able to see those dusty white elephants in the distance, to be right next to the world's oldest desert, to have the ability to go from safari to the coast, to the skeleton coastline, to see big cats at watering holes at night, to see lots of rhino at night, see beautiful giraffes, lots of, you know, lots of usual safari game, a bit like South Africa, but just in a completely different landscape to those that you'd normally expect to find on safari. This again wasn't too expensive, I did a guided tour, I was on a shared jeep with about eight other people, uh, I did this by myself, didn't know anyone else on the tour, had a lovely time and I would definitely recommend Namibia, in fact I'd love to plan on go back and see more of the country as a whole. So those are my top five places that I've been on safari so far. We've got Kruger in South Africa, we've got the Masai Mara in Kenya, we've got the Amazon jungle in Peru, we've got a Tosha National Park in Namibia, and we have got India. If you've been on any of those safaris to any of those places, leave me a comment and let me know how you found it. And if you want to tell me the best place that you would either like to be on safari or have been on safari, please let me know. I'm always looking for new places to explore and capture beautiful wildlife.